In this video, we're going to go over how to use the accessibility shortcut for Android devices. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. Whether you're blind, low vision, visually impaired, or just need a little bit of help, Android has a lot of accessibility features built right into it. But sometimes you don't need those features all the time, or sometimes you just want to have a way to turn it on and off so that you can share or let someone else borrow your phone and they might not need those features. So that's when the accessibility shortcut comes in really handy. So let's go ahead and go over how to enable that for Android devices. So first, open your device settings and find accessibility. This might be in different places depending on your device. Or you can also ask your Google Voice Assistant to open accessibility settings. From here, it's going to be different on each device depending on your manufacturer. But on my Nexus 6P and a lot of Pixel and stock Android phones, it'll probably be the first option, which is volume key shortcut. Now, if your phone has a home button, it could be that the accessibility shortcut is to triple press the home button. For phones without a home button, it can be a combination of the power and the volume buttons. So in my case, it's holding the volume up and volume down keys together. But on that page of the settings, your phone should let you know what that shortcut is specifically. Here in the settings, you can choose to enable this shortcut on the lock screen, and I like to have that on. Just select which feature you want, and you can only choose one on most Android devices. Once that shortcut is set, you can use this shortcut anywhere on your phone on whatever app to quickly turn on and off the accessibility settings. So that's how you use the accessibility shortcut feature on Android. Comment down below if you use this shortcut and tell me what you use it for. I've also made a video on how to do the same thing with iOS devices, which I will link down in the description and in the YouTube card. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and subscribe for more tutorials on Android and iOS and other tips and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, or their sighted supporters. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next one.